Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos. Hey what's up YouTube this is Vasi here and today in this video I'm going to be talking about a software called ChatGPT. What it is, what it can do, how good it can do its task and how people are actually earning from this AI software. So let's begin the video. First thing is that what is ChatGPT? So in simple terms, ChatGPT is an AI model or an AI software in which you can interact in a conversational way, meaning that you're going to ask some questions to it and it's going to answer you just like we do with our voice assistants like Siri, etc. But it is on another level because it has much more knowledge uh, this chat GPT and it's going to give you accurate answers in most of the cases not in fully cases because it is still in beta version or beta release so you're going to see some bugs as well the second thing is that it is completely free to use chat GPT right now all you need to do is to make an account and you can use this software so now i'm going to test how good is this software actually is because a lot of people are talking about this on the internet right now i have prepared a list of questions where i'm going to ask the most basic questions to the most advanced complex questions also i'm going to ask regard uh, questions regarding programming because i have heard that this uh, chat gpt software works really well in finding bugs in code or making programs etc so let's see how good it is and in the last time i'm going to show you how people are actually earning from this particular software if you are interested in all of these questions timestamps are in the video description so you can go to those particular category of questions in which you are interested in here i am on my mac so all you need to do is to open any browser and on open this website openai.com because chat gpt is a product of openai i will put this website link in the video description you can read more about chat gpt right here or you can just press on the ch try chat gpt button all you need to do is to create your account i have already made mine so i'm just simply going to log in so for the first section i'm going to ask basic questions to this ai model and i'm going to see how good it can answer these so all you need to do is to press on the new chat button and you can start asking questions right here so the first question is who are you let's see what it's going to respond back uh, okay, I'm an assistant, a large model trained by OpenAI. I am not a real person, but rather designed to assist user in generating human like based and so on. So, okay, when were you created? Let's see it's going, if it's going to give an exact date or not. As you can see, it says, I was fed a large data set, etc, etc. Et this process allowed me to learn. However, my training was completed and my knowledge was cut off at a specific point in time. So I don't have access to any new information. So actually, I'm uh, asking the AI that when it was created, but it's going giving me its background. So let's try again. When were you born? So if you're going to write the same query with different i would say words it's going to give different answers as i mentioned i i don't have a birth date i was born when i was first activated and began assisting users so okay now let's ask what it can do what can you do so basically i'm interacting with the ai in a conversational way the one thing bad about is that when it's going to reply you, you cannot type or ask another question. You have to wait until the first answer is completed. And you can see it says, do you have a specific task in mind that you would like help with? So if you want any kind of uh, task, we can ask it. So let's just ask a simple question like, value, what is the value of pi? Okay, basically pi is the mathematical term and it is giving the right answer and it is going to give you much more details as well. We can see that for basic questions, it is not a problem if you want to increase your general knowledge. Instead of Googling everything, you can just come here and type those basic questions. Now let's move towards a little bit more complex questions. Let's ask what is love and let's see what it's going to give in response. Love is a complex mix of emotions, behaviors, behaviors, uh, and beliefs associated with strong feelings of affection, etc., etc. As you can see, it is, I think, describing love in the best way possible. So it is a little bit complex question looking that it is a machine code, but it is working all right. So let's just ask, what are human feelings? As you can see, it says with strong feelings. So let's ask, what are strong feelings? So this is just a follow up of the previous questions. What are human feelings feelings are wide range of emotions including happiness sadness and so on so not bad 
answer regarding the question now let's ask another complex question like i am feeling angry what should i do and let's see what's the ai response is going to be okay there are a number of things you can try to help manage your emotions take a break so basically you can see that it understands our question and then it's going to find i don't know thing from google or any article i don't know where it is finding data but according to me it is showing uh, almost exact data but again you should not fully believe in this data because it is still in beta version and there might be errors okay you can see it has shown these five points i can actually do a follow-up of this question as well like can you summarize this so let's see if it can summarize if i'm feeling angry it should show it in a short form and you can see now the sentences should be shorter and okay a little bit shorter not that much summarized but it is what it is for the last question let's ask it a mathematical equation that is z is equal to a plus ib and let's see what it's going to reply with this first of all you should know this is a math equation and you can see it has detected it that in mathematics z is often used for this 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 and you can see that if you're studying then this might help you a lot again do not fully depend on it but it has detected that this is a mathematical equation and let's just say that uh, uh, explain me with an example so it should explain me with an example for the above uh, equation or let explain me with an simple example so it should explain the above equation with a simple example sure is a simple example suppose you have complex number represented 3 plus 4 in this case 3 is the real part of the complex number and 4 is the imaginary part the value of i is square root of minus which is imaginary part and so on but again this is not a simple example i'm going to type again simple example so that if you are really bad in maths like i am you can understand it really well imagine and you can see that for the simple example now it's moved towards an electrical circuit so so on but again it's showing the 5 plus 90 i 5 is the real part and 9 is the imaginary part and so on so now these are the complex questions now i'm going to move towards the opinion questions like i'm going to ask the ai to for any opinion like if i want to buy a phone etc let's say which phone should i buy samsung or an iphone so basically this is an opinion question and let's see what the ai is going to recommend me whether should i buy a samsung phone or an iphone so it's going to say it really depends on your personal preferences and needs here are a few things to consider operating system hardware and performance design and build quality price uh, and so on the ultimately the decision which phone to buy will depend on your individual needs so again it's not going to tell me that you should buy the iphone or the samsung it's just simply going to show me the differences between those two categories or brands of phones and then i have to decide it by myself but if you're a new person then and if you're not a technical person then this information might help you a lot so the next next question is that let's say that i have my friend's birthday what should i give him as a gift or what should i gift him or her uh, okay wrong spelling for him but anyways it can be challenging to perfect reform but there are a few things so think about their instances consider their needs and so on so again it's going to show me the different properties but it's not going to tell me any specific thing like buy a particular jewelry or any sports etc and now let's say that i'm going to write he likes to play sports and let's see what that's going to tell me if your friend enjoying players you might consider a gift related to their favorite sport or an activity like tickets to a sporting event which is nice sports equipment which everyone thinks but for the ticket it is really cool sport themed gift and experience and so on so for recommendation it is recommending good if you give it the right questions now i'm going to ask it to help me in something like if i want to write let's say some kind of content i'm just going to ask so what are the best ideas to make youtube videos 
now this is a little difficult question because you need to find ideas and let's see what the ai can do so here are a few ideas for making youtube videos how to or tutorial videos that is good vlog or lifestyle videos again educational or informative content and produce entertainment content again the major categories of youtube videos if you're new to it you don't know but the ai is helping you a lot in this case and if you go to a particular category then it's going to show more things and now if i want it to let's say write me an article on uh, sports watches or smart watches i would say so let's see if can, if it can write me an article or not regarding smart watches okay as you can see it is started to write uh, an article regarding sport or smart watches smart watches are becoming increasingly popular etc etc i'm not saying that the information is going to be perfectly correct but this is going to give you a major idea if you're going to write any article you can use chat gpt to help you in to formalize an idea or steps and then add your own thoughts and correct it as you can see it is a small article however you can uh, make it or ask it to write a larger article as well with a lot of more words count now moving towards the coding section of chat gpt so for the first basic question i'm just going to ask it to write a code for star pattern if you're a programmer then you're going to know what star pattern is and i can specify a language as well write a code for or star pattern in c language and i'm going to just press on enter and now what it should do it should write a simple c code uh, to make a star pattern and you can see hashtag includes studio.h which means that it is writing in c and you can see we have this little bar of copy code as well which means you can see it is in a I would say somewhat a compiler kind of thing and you can copy the code from here and it is going to show you the output as well and uh, it's going to show and if you want to know what it has just done you can just type explain me the above code and it's going to be quite helpful to the computer science students just like i was because in my time there was nothing something like that so we had to google everything but with this tool it's going to help students a lot to learn code because at first of all it's going to write code but the main thing is that it's going to explain the code as well as you can see right here it is writing the code line by line which is really cool so the first thing is that you can write different codes or ask it to write different codes and you can get an explanation of the code or just a chunk of the code as well as you can see it is going to uh, explain each and every part of the code you can also debug code as well here i'm just going to paste a simple java class code where i have uh, didn't write the public static word in it so it should debug it i'm going to just enter defines a java class called simple that contains a method called main the method is this 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 and so on so you can see that uh, from any so basically it is going to explain the code uh, basically i wanted to debug it but i can rewrite the code and i'm going to type find the error because it was actually following up to the above code question there does not appear to be any syntax code in the provider how there are few things so you can see that here it says it should be declared as static which i said before public static void main so you can see it has actually found the bug in my code uh, and it is also going to highlight it as well so for this video i have just used a simple example of the code but you can see that how much powerful this ai is for learning and for debugging your code it's not going to work every time but you can actually hope for it and it might solve most of your problems because in most cases you're going to forget an comma or any other thing like this the main thing is that i have inputted the code and it had detected automatically that this is a java code so that's really intelligent as far as ai of this chat gpt is concerned so for the last coding example i can just type i want to uh, know a code for uh, trimming string in python if you are a data analyst or data scientist you should know this but if you have forgotten the string or trimming method you can just simply ask chat gpt and you can see it shows string dot strip 
Along with an explanation, the strip method to remove leading and trailing white spaces, meaning the spaces before and above and so on. And it's going to give you a complete explanation. So if you want to find quick code method, etc., you can use chat GPT. Now moving towards the next section of the video that how people are actually earning from it. So basically what people are doing right now is that if they are uh, writing articles for different websites or on their own website you know that you need to do a lot of r and d before you can write any article so they're just simply going to go to chat gpt and again type write an article on i don't know shoes and they're just simply going to search for it or sorry they're just simply going to ask chat gpt and chat gpt is going to answer or write an article for them now they're not simply going to copy paste these articles onto their websites they're going to get a general idea they're going to clean the any grammar mistake correct if there is any incorrect information because again chat gpt is not 100 percent accurate so there is errors in it they're going to clean it check for any plagiarism and then they're going to add their own information regarding their particular product and upload to their website where they're going to earn money from it again the second thing they can do is get youtube ideas or ideas for a particular youtube video and they're going to get the ideas and then they're going to make their content so people are actually using this free tool right now in order to make money it's going to depend on how you can use this particular tool now there are some bugs in this tool as well because it's still in beta version but there are some limitations to it the first limitation is that it cannot show you data after 2021 because it has all the data at 2021 or before it not after 2021 because now it's 2023 and if i ask any question like say in 2022 and if i search for it it should show me an error because i'm sorry i am not able to show a browse internet uh, because uh, current information my knowledge is based on the data that was available to me on my training which had a knowledge of cutoff for 2021 again if you want to ask any questions related to 2022 then that is the main downfall of this chat gpt so you need to make sure of that and if i ask it who am i basically i'm asking about myself it's going to show don't have enough information although when I made an account here, I gave them my first and last name. So it should basically uh, get from that, but for some reason it is. And here are some other screenshots as well. When I was, uh, you know, testing this chat GPT for this video, I had these kind of problems as well. So what is the conclusion? I would say that chat GPT is not bad and it is good for answering almost all of the questions. Like if you want to ask basic questions, some complex questions, if you're going to ask it programming questions or to debug code, in most of the cases, it's going to solve the problems that you are seeking. And it's going to give you a summary of each thing. So if instead of Googling and finding things, this is the best alternative right now because if you want to find a simple code snippets you need to go to google and for search for different websites but in this way you can get an idea if you're not finding here then you can go towards google and finding it other than that you can earn money like people are by getting it to write an article or cleaning article cleaning it and adding your own ideas doing some r d and post it onto your own website is it accurate not 100 percent you should you trust it not 100 percent at all because some of the answers that it's going to give are silly or they are not actually real so be aware of that and the other thing is that uh, it has limited data as far as 2021 so is it going to replace human beings in the future you tell me so yeah guys if you guys like this video like share subscribe if you have any other questions write them in the comment section below and if you have subscribed to my channel please do so other than that thank you for watching and as always stay safe